Hi, this is Eric, and this is another DIY RV adventure. If you like the video, please hit the like. Today we're going to talk about Victron's Smart Solar Charge Controller Street Light function. This is a function that lets you turn on and off a light using your solar panels and the voltage detected by those solar panels it'll activate a relay turning the lights on and off. This function is an AND function meaning that the battery load based on your settings will determine whether the street function will activate or not. And we'll get into that a little bit later. This is called a street light function. What it does is it activates a relay. That relay can be connected to anything. It does not have to be a light. This function is not a daylight timer. With that, let's see how this works. Today I'm going to talk about my setup, which is a one channel Raspberry Pi relay using the JST PH 2 millimeter pitch 4 pin connector. Victron does have a VE Direct Text digital output cable and a solid switch 104 that will do the same thing. If you're looking for a device that has very low current draw and you don't need anything over 4 amps, this may be a solution you might want to look into. Here is VE Direct's pinout. Raspberry Pi module requires 5 volts, so I took pin number 4 and connected that to the DC plus connector. I took the ground, which is pin number 1 from VE Direct, and I hooked that to the to the ground, the DC negative, and then I took the uh, number three, the transmit um, text out to the in on the module. And for my test, all I did is connected power to the common on the relay side and connected the normally open to the uh, light power and connected the power, the lights negative to the um, battery ground. We now need to go to VE Connect app and click on your solar controller, click on the settings. There's going to be three places where we're going to make some changes. It's going to be the load output, the transmit port function, and then the street light. Clicking on the text port function, we're going to set that to light dimming normal. Next, we'll go to load output. I have it on always. This is the AND function. So if this is not satisfied first, the street light will not come on, which means if it detects low voltage of your battery based on, based on these other algorithms or battery life, the street function will not work. It is secondary to the load out. Having it on always on, ignores the state of the battery and will perform the street light function. Having it always off means the street light function will not work. And now we're actually to the street light setting itself. As you can see, I have a very high voltage in for sunrise and sunset. I did that just for testing. You can play around with all these settings. If you look at the video, how I switched it on and off is keep lines off and then I went down to switch on till sunrise and that's how I was able to get the uh, light to turn on and off for my test. You do want to use those delays especially if you're in an RV, in clouds, uh, going under overpass or anything that will temporarily cover your uh, solar panels. So give it about a half an hour at a lower voltage this is how I set up the street light function for my RV. I hope this was informative and gives you some ideas of what you might, may want to do with it. Uh, for me, I'm going to be putting some lights on for when we hit the desert so we can find our RV at night if uh, we're out in the dunes and jeeping and stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, please hit the like. If you'd like to see my next video, please hit that subscribe and it'll let you know when it comes out. Thank you.